guys, Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, so we're continuing on with these tags. Um, I gotta apologize for my last video, you guys. Um, I, oh, I know what happened. My camera ran out of ran out of battery, so it just cut off. Usually, I warn you when I say, "Hey, my you know my phone's gonna start a new video," it just cut off because the battery battery ran out. And also, another thing I need to apologize about is normally I have a thing called a. Um, a flipper it flips the video around so I go to my flipper and it's a it's an app and I um, it's it's what's it called I think it's called rotate and fix there's a lot of different ones but um, my last two videos when I went to put it when I went to my rotate and fix to rotate the video around so it looks like you're looking like you're standing behind me um, for some reason it's not um, it'll rotate the video but it won't uh, send it to YouTube because you can hit send to YouTube and it just won't send it to YouTube and um, So I had to send my last two videos without rotating them So it looks like you're standing across to me instead of being behind me So I'm sorry about that this video since now I know that my rotate and fix I think it's not gonna work I'm gonna have to look for another one and figure out how that one works um, I will turn things around so you can see them like for example where we left off with the tags okay so I'll turn this one around so you guys can see how this one turned out isn't that cool I think it's so pretty simply Paris okay and the other one that I did was this one in the last video and this was as dream until dreams come true I love these sayings and then this is the one we're going to do next okay so i have some collage bits oh and then this is my uh, and for those who well go back to the first video so you can really see how we started this whole thing but this is an altered file folder and these are all these are three pockets deep one two three and we have tags in them and that's what we're making all these um these uh mixed media tags is to put into the pockets right all right and then in the middle this is another one with a big old pocket here and then we got another uh, pocket on the last one okay and I have some tags and a little like a little mixed media little booklet right here so this is where one two three of the tags will live okay but let me just fold this up put this aside and this is what this looks like and we'll go over this whole thing so you can see up real close just how it all looks at the end okay so Let's finish up these tags. Oh, one other thing I did want to show you guys is, okay. I told you, I showed this once before, but just as a reminder. See these little, um, these little quotes and stuff that I have? Like they have the quotes here. These little quotes, this is what I did. Is I went on my computer and, oh, and I want to tell you, I sell these in my, um, my Etsy shop. I went on my computer and I just found all these sayings and I've just been collecting all these different sayings. Let me turn this around. I've been collecting all these different sayings. And I went on my computer and I printed a bunch of them up. Okay? So you can either do this yourself and or if you want um, them already done. Um, they're really cheap. $1.50 a sheet or something like that. And you can just make copies yourself. Um, this one says vintage finds, vintage type of girl, Paris finds, just so Paris. And so I would do one, two, I think two rows of the same saying. And I did them so you, they're spaced out so you can cut them out and everything. So you just take your slicer and you just slice them out. See? Like, see, I've been slicing them up here. These are, I took the, the sheets and I copy stained some of the sheets. So that's really cool. All right. Just one to that, but you can go to my Etsy shop and I have a bunch of different sheets with a bunch of different sayings done in this beautiful vintage style. And um, you can order the sheets if you want. And just and they're just, um, they're, um, you just copy them right off of the, um, after you purchase them, they're digital copies. So, and so for this one, I have this one and it says dream as if you would live forever, which I just love. And I took some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and just distressed the whole thing. Okay, so it matches what we're doing. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're going to collage. We're going to collage this on here. Let me see how I want to do it. Something like that. And this here. Okay. So. All 
right, let me get my magazine out so we have a, a glue surface to work on. Yeah, all this goes right there. Okay. Let me get my... My eyelid's tacky. Um, and my glue brush. Sorry guys, usually I have my glue brush already ready to go, but I don't even know where my other glue brush is. I have another one that I use just for glue. Okay. Okay, so this will go like that, right? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I need a baby wipe. And Eileen's Tacky is tacky glue, and it will glue your fingers together. I'm going to take my baby wipe and kind of go around like this in case any glue seeps out. It'll remove that. Do a little drying plus just kind of make sure we have this really attached well. I think this is so pretty how this turned out so vintage. I love it. Okay, and then we're going to stack this rose on top of this rose. I was at Dollar Tree yesterday and I needed to get some more Eileen's Tacky Glue and I didn't do it. I have like four different bottles going, but all the bottles are, um, all of the bottles are, uh, all really low. So I don't know why I have four low bottles, why I didn't just keep using a bottle till it was, you know, done, but I did. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. And then we're going to Put that there and this there. Perfect. Isn't that butterfly just gorgeous? Love it. enough glue on there. There we go. Okay. And then what else are we doing? I have another piece. Oh here it is. Okay. We're gonna put this hummingbird right there. Look how cool that looks. Not just cool, pretty. I love butterflies. I love hummingbirds. And then this saying, dream as if you would live forever. Very pretty. Okay. Okay. 
I love inspirational things like that. Especially in today's world where there is a lot of negativity going around. It's nice to have things like this. Positive messages. Oh, that would have been too positive. That glue was about to go right on top of my right on top of my work. <laughs> Almost had a heart attack. Oops. Hopefully that's going down. Okay, let me just put a little more glue right there. So that glue, make sure that's glued down good. All right, so let me show you. Um, here's the blue brush. Right, it's right out, right next to me, so I would be all ready to go. Can't see it's in front of your face. Okay, doesn't that look gorgeous? So pretty. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is let's do. Um, some stamping, some uh, script stamping, okay, on our tags. So I'm using this ink pad here, and it's called Sepia, which I just love this stamp pad color. And I just want to do some um, script stamping right over everything. I just think it looks so cool. Awesome. So there's that. We're going to get our other one and do the same thing. And I think the brown just, you know, it adds it without being so obvious. Like if we did black, that shows up a lot more, like how we did black in the background. But the brown over it just makes it look, I don't know, vintage. And it's just more subtle, which is what I want so okay next one you know what I was gonna throw on here but I'm, I don't think I'm going to I was gonna throw on white splatters but I just don't feel like it needs white splatters I was gonna do it but I just I just don't think it needs it so we're not gonna throw white splatters on here I mean, I was all I was all set to throw white splatters on it, but I just don't think it needs it. I like the way it looks without it. Okay, so I was just I to get the ink off. I just keep stamping it like on a separate piece of paper. All right, so now we have all three of our tags. Let me make sure of what you guys are seeing. We got all three of our tags, which I just love. Oh, they look so cool. All right, so let's do one at a time here with. Um, let me make sure I got all my steps. Collage, Stabilo, which we're going to do now. Script stamp for this. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, any of these. A uh, water-soluble crayon, um, uh, Faber-Castell, or, a, uh, you know, these are all these are both uh, water-soluble crayons. Um, this is an oil pastel you can do it with. I like to use um, a watercolor pencil to go around the edges and give shadow, or you can use a Stabilo. Well, to me, a Stabilo is nothing but a watercolor pencil. So... I like to use a watercolor pencil to go to get really nice and around my focal points and then to do my edges I like to use one of the three of these and I never use the oil pastel I always use the water soluble ones so this you won't even need to um, wet your finger because it's an oil you just need to rub so I'm gonna use that today because I never use it um I need to sharpen this where's my sharpener you guys look how beautiful this is I got this at Dollar Tree isn't this gorgeous and now I keep my, um, this stuff in there. Isn't that cool? And a, a couple of paper clips. So it's just nice to, it's just nice to have things like this right beside at your desk. And it's so pretty and I love it. Okay. And the other thing is when I'm going to um, sharpen my pencil, I use this, which I got a Dollar Tree too. A mermaid um, ring holder. Isn't that cool? But I'm using it to sharpen my pencils in too. my pencil shavings so 
So if you like these things, look for them at Dollar Tree. They still have both of them at some of Dollar Trees. They have those, um, the, and it's a rose um, little uh, trinket holder. They have them all different colors. And um, they have them in pink too. I have a pink one in my bathroom. And some places still have these. So they went quick though. So if you see them, get them. Okay, so I'm gonna take my watercolor pencil and we're gonna start going around and edging this out. So we're just um, giving a nice little shadow around our focal points. Then I'll wet my finger and go around everything and smear it out. And I'm also going to do it to this here too. And do I worry about being perfect about it? No. Not at all. Now you can wet your finger with a baby wipe like I'm doing right now. And a lot of times I just use my own spit. <laughs> oh my God, I know that makes some people are like gross. But I just had my baby wipe right here so I just thought, you know, I'm gonna use a baby wipe today. But if I don't have a baby wipe on me, I'm not gonna like go get a, get a baby wipe out. I'll just use my spit. <laughs> I got that from Lori Marie Jenkins. That's what she does. <laughs> that was funny. And people were telling her, oh, that's just nasty. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do all this first, going around all my focal points first with this watercolor pencil. Then we'll go around all the edges with my oil pastel. Okay? So let's just do this. This part's really relaxing too, just um, giving a little shadow to everything. Very relaxing. Oh, what I think that I added this when I was off camera, this butterfly, isn't that gorgeous? These are both uh, wall decals. This butterfly and that butterfly. Gorgeous. Oh, that came up a little bit. We need to add a little glue right there. Okay, and then let's go around our little things here. And I love this saying. This one says, dream until dreams come true. Isn't that beautiful? Great saying. Okay, so did you see that? So we did a little shading around everything. All right, so let's do this one. All right, let's make sure you guys are still there.
this thing says dream as if you would live forever love that saying like I said if you like my the quotes I've collected or the sayings I've collected just go to my um, it'll be the link will be below you can go there and you can digitally download them and it's like I think a dollar dollar fifty dollar twenty five per sheet and you'll have all these beautiful inspirational type of quotes that are already all done for you in a beautiful script and you can just print them out and then cut them out and when you do a digital print like that you can copy as many as you want you know you can make copies of them so you never run out of the quotes so you always have them okay so we did that to all three now I'm gonna take my oil pastel and we're just gonna just um, this is just to uh, give some shading around the border in fact what I think I'll do is I'll use a different thing I'll use a different um, tool or different these to do shading on all three so you can kind of see the difference and there really isn't a difference. You can't tell if I used an oil pastel or if I used a water-soluble crayon or which water-soluble crayon I used. So this one, you just use the heat of your fingers because it's oil. It's an oil pastel. that looks I love it okay so let's do the next one okay so the next one I'm going to use my um, this is a Jane Davenport uh, water soluble crayon look how cool it looks this is like a uh, she made all her stuff well this one line she has of mixed media um, art supplies she made them look like makeup supplies so look you take this off look how it looks like a lipstick and then she made it look like a lipstick. See? Isn't that cool? Love it. Okay, so here we go. these two already so wet my finger and let's start blending this out now you do have to of course you already know that anything water soluble to well you know what actually this will blend out without water but it blends out a lot nicer if you have water wet your finger I'm just wet, wetting my finger over here on this baby wipe so there we go give some nice edging there now let's suppose you don't have either one of the, you don't have any water soluble crayons you don't have an oil pastel if you just have um, a black ink pad or the Tim Holtz Distress you could just take your Tim Holtz Distress and just go like this on the edge of this whole thing okay just wanted to say that okay and then this is a Fabric Castell or a Gelato okay so we'll use that on this one Because I shade everything, all my artwork that I do, basically, I keep all this out um, right over here in a little, actually this little wine glass. Actually, it's a little margarita glass I got from Dollar Tree. I thought it would be pretty on my, here on my table. And um, so that I always have this stuff out because the things that you use all the time, I say keep those out on your table. Why put those kind of things away? 
if you use them on almost every project. No reason for that. Okay. There we go. Let's start blending out. All right, and there we go with this one. It doesn't look so pretty, so vintage. I love it. Okay, so we are done. I just wanna quickly show you guys before this video ends, we got about four minutes. Um, this is all of three of these. So pretty. Okay, and let's bring this all the way back out. And I want to show you quickly. This is the okay. This is the file folder on the other side, on the um, the side without the pockets. You know, the um, cover and the the co front cover and the back cover. So there's the back cover. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's move. That's the back cover. Oh, you know what? I gotta show it this way because I'm not gonna be flipping my video over until I eventually, you know, hopefully my flipping thing works or I find a different one. Anyway, okay, so there we go. So you can see it. That's what the back looks like. Isn't that pretty? And then this is the front page. Gorgeous, huh? I think that's really pretty. Okay, then let's turn this around so you can see up close. Here's the first pocket. It has this section, this section, and then this section with all these tags. And I've already shown you what the tags look like. So we won't go through the tags again. Okay. This is the middle part. Isn't it gorgeous? And then there's a flap there. I just wanted to come up close so you guys can see it. Oh, I'm showing you upside down. Oh, well, you guys are getting it. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, we have time. Let me turn it around. There we go. There's that middle part I just showed you. And then the last part, it has a, okay, let me, isn't that gorgeous? And then this right here is a pocket right there. So we're going to take these three tags before this video turns off, which I have another minute. If it does, you guys, thank you guys so much for following this series. I hope you guys like this series. It was a long one, but I think it was really fun and I had a good time doing it. So I'm taking this one and I'm putting it in here. And there's one thing I want to say, you guys, before you guys go. Um, I usually end my videos differently, but I'm going to end it with this. You guys, let's be kind to each other, and let's judge each other on the content of our character. I think at a time like this today, in today's world, that is so important. Remember that. Let's judge each other on the content of our character, and let's be kind to each other, okay? All right, you guys, I'm done with this series. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I will talk to you guys in the next one. Love you guys. 
Bye.